You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 42 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about a very, um, I don't want to say chaotic. Thrown together? Um, I guess. I mean. Sporadic? Yeah, it, it didn't seem like there was much of a plan. No, because <laughs> Vince was literally saying, I just made this up on the spot. Mm-hmm. Which obviously isn't true, because uh, they set it up over the weekend, but... It was, it felt a lot like probably the most um, ridiculous it's felt in a while. Just between everything that was going on at the beginning, because the first 20 minutes was just them throwing stuff at the wall. No, it was terrible. Throwing stuff the, at the, the wall. That was the worst part of the show, I think, was the beginning. Um, I didn't really think it was that bad. It was, it was ridiculous. That's what it was. Okay, yeah, it was over the top. Yes. It seemed very unnecessary. And the commentators were, like, really trying to, like, sell it. Well, which I know which is their job. Michael Cole couldn't get over himself after the fact that he was able to scream the big dog, so. Yeah. You know. But it was, it was just... It, it seemed very old school wrestling. You know what I mean? Kinda. Cause it like you made it like, oh, I can't believe something like this would happen. Ridiculous. And Vince McMahon is such a genius coming up with this brand new rule. Blah blah blah. So it it, it was it was a lot very over the top. Yeah, for the um, beginning anyway. I thought they did a handful of good things though on the show. Murdering Sami Zayn is that one of the. I mean, I was fine with the segment. I was hoping he's getting written off because I'm getting tired of this stupid nonsense. <laughs> and then he shows up on yeah. SmackDown. Yeah, that, that made no sense either. Are you tired of the nonsense because you feel offended by what Sammy is saying? Can I be perfectly honest? <laughs> I'm tired of fucking everything. <laughs> There's nothing that goes on that I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm glad I tuned in for this. There's not a whole lot of good going on right now. Oh, it's true. Yeah. But the funny thing is, I feel that way about a lot of wrestling and not just... No, WWE. Yeah, that's that's fair. You have this new rule. I guess we'll kind of get into this now, because um, Vince opened the show and Roman had tweeted over the weekend saying, "I have unfinished business on Raw, so I'm coming." And they're like, uh, "According to rules, Roman Reigns not supposed to go." Yeah. And Roman's like, "I'm doing it anyway." Mm-hmm. So Vince comes out, and then Roman comes out right after. He's like, "What are you doing here?" Blah blah blah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, Roan comes out, and then um, it was Daniel Bryan, who I kind of figured was going to turn face. Yeah, who I, came out? Was it Daniel Bryan who came out first? Yes, it was Daniel uh, Bryan, and then I it was Kofi. Kofi came no, out first. it wasn't. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right, because he wanted to have the intellectual conversation. Yeah, and then he stops, and then that's when Kofi came out. Yeah. So, basically... Um, Vince sees the three SmackDown superstars. He's like, oh, I just came up with a brand new rule. The wild card rule. Only three, three wrestlers from the opposite show can show up on any given week. Yep. Um, so, okay, we had Roman. We had Daniel Bryan. We had Kofi. That's the three. So, like, okay. Drew comes out. Um, Vince goes oh we should have wrestlemania rematches so they he makes drew versus roman and daniel bryan versus kofi for the wwe title right right going back to the i guess the new rule slash not utilizing any people you literally took the first hour half hour of the show using people from the other show yep um but I will give them some credit. Mm -hmm. It did seem like they were doing what I had hoped they were doing and doing a lot more smaller segments, which were getting more people on the show. I guess that's true. Granted, we did have multiple squash matches. Yes. I think it was at least two. Was it? Yeah, it was um, Lacey Evans. Oh, right, right, right. And then the Lucha House Party. Yeah, which is very strange. Which now they... Have they been throwing candy into the crowd, or did that just start this week? I know they carried out the pinatas, but... Well, it was Cinco de Mayo on Sunday, so maybe that's what it was for. I don't know. I'm throwing yes. stuff at the wall here. I don't remember these things. Are you a writer okay. for WWE if, now? If I, if I hear Lucha, I stop paying attention. <laughs> so it really doesn't matter what's going on. Oh, boy. Anyway, um, it's... 
the rule is a little over the top and was I, I made emphasis emphasis of the three early for a reason because later on more than the three sh are showcased we'll get into that at a later point yeah um but yeah after uh it's funny that he makes the rematches aj's music hits he comes out to the ring goes to commercial Comes back from commercial. AJ's music still playing, mm -hmm. and everybody else is gone. Gone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he starts talking to Vince, and he's like, "Oh, this is ridiculous, having Roman and his SmackDown people coming to Raw." Um, and then uh, he's like, "Maybe I'll get some of my friends. We'll head over to SmackDown." So I'm like, oh, "They're gonna nope. do it. They're gonna put nope. the club back together." And nope. They really didn't suggest that. It sounded like that's what they were going for. I thought that he was going to call out Vince for not putting them together because it made too much sense. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Um, and then uh, Seth comes out, and they start arguing about being uh, or their match and whatever. Yeah. And how SmackDown wasn't the house that AJ Styles built because it started way before he got there, mm -hmm. and it's still just fine. But... Raw is a different case mm -hmm. because it's still Monday Night Rollins. Stupid. Yep. Anyway, uh, Vince puts them in a tag team match together. They'll be facing Lashley and Corbin. Um, <laughs> There's a shocker. Yep. And at least it wasn't the main event, I guess. No, I know. It's so, a little disappointing, you know. Yeah. That is Corbin's well, it's, spot. It, it's, hurt, it's hurting his <laughs> uh, ratios. So, um, but yeah, AJ goes for the phenomenal forearm on Corbin. He ends up hitting uh, Seth instead. And uh, AJ's like, eh, whatever. And he leaves. Corbin hits an end of days on Seth and pins him, and that was the match. Yeah, um, while I didn't really have any problems with the match, it just seemed like it dragged on. And It was on, long. And on. It was almost an hour before, I think Sami Zayn came out at like 9 o'clock. Yeah, and, and that's one of my pet peeves has been, I don't really care and i'm sure the casuals don't about these good matches, matches. no these good, aren't yeah. long matches drawn out on yeah. your regular tv show that's no. the whole reason for the pay-per-views yeah that and you're kind of losing viewer retention yeah because like all right so let's say you're going up against something and you're just putting on wwe during the commercials like if you know this match is going to be going on for like 15 20 minutes you didn't just turn it back on a little bit later. And if you miss it, later on, they'll probably show a replay of what happened anyway. They will. Or you can go on YouTube. So They, they decided not to upload the things on YouTube as it was happening. They were waiting till after the show to upload the clips, hoping that the viewership would increase. I guess that kind of makes sense. It does. I don't know why the companies do it. Impact does the same thing. Well, while the show is happening? Yeah. Well, I'm assuming it's meant for people to catch it as, you know, it's going on if they do yeah, miss right. something. But it's a much condensed version, and you get the meat and potatoes. Oh, yes. Yeah. You know exactly what yeah. you need to know. I don't know. Um, I, I still think that the idea of them thinking that ratings are going to get fixed is a pipe dream at this point yeah, oh yeah so it really doesn't well, matter what they do there's no reason that we have to invest in a lot of these characters that's t true um but i i still even think if the product is more entertaining it's gonna i don't think that'll fix anything no but uh, well, I, I think the casual fan doesn't really care as much anymore no but there's, they want excitement quick you know quick yeah. excitement and they stuff should, like that they, they don't should, want long drawn out things they should load up the shows with a lot of quick segments that have like things that people want to see. Right, I, I so think that's they should fine. Start bringing back the Attitude Era with the boobs and the swearing, and <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Braun panties match every yeah. week. Yeah, right? exactly. That's what you want exactly. Oh, of course, but you should have. Um, I can't even think of a good terrible example. I was gonna say like guys doing it, and it'd be funny. Didn't Pat Patterson and Gerald Briscoe have had, like an even gown match? An even gown match. <laughs> but I was trying to make a joke. Either way. Um, yeah, it's uh, too, well, too long. I mean, for the last, what, couple of weeks, at least, Sami Zayn has come out here, and it felt like he's gone on for about 10 minutes in the ring. At yeah, least this week, ever. he talked for a minute. Braun Strowman came out. He chased him around, and he threw him in a dumpster. 
Garbage truck picked him up, dumped him in the back. That was your segment. It's true. That that was fine. Well, it was even interrupted by Lucha House Party's entrance and yeah. match. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah because that's right. they uh, Braun chases Sammy away, and then Lucha House Party comes up, and then they show him in the back. Then and then all that stuff happens, and yeah, then it but, showed. But. I mean, no, no, I didn't mind having Lucha House Party out here against Jobbers. It was quick. They got to showcase themselves. They weren't getting beaten by the Viking Raiders it's again. True. But yeah, the whole reason for that match was so that there was something going on or supposed to be going on while the other thing happened. Yeah. So that makes sense. But it was fine. I, I had no problem. That, with that it. part was good. Um, even the next part helped thought, a little bit. I thought this stuff with Lacey wasn't bad at all because she had sent in invitations to Natalia, Naomi, and Dana Brooke. They were in the back, uh, I guess, discussing the invitations. And yeah. What not. Yeah, so and, now all three of them had a reason to be at ringside. Right, and as you're a, giving well. them something to do. They're all supposed to be in the money in the bank match, at mm -hmm. least show their face on TV. Yeah. You're not going to have them in a match. Yeah. And you're building more of Lacey's character. That's true. So perfectly fine with this segment. Yeah. Um, then we had Ricochet versus Robert Roode. And like I mentioned to you, still the best thing on Raw is Robert Roode's mustache. Yeah. Not Hands not down. not his wrestling or anything like that. I don't that. care about that. Just the mustache. But all right. So the whole point of this match to happen was because Roode... Uh, thought he deserved to be in the Money in the Bank over Ricochet since he got the victory over him, what, last week, I think it was? I think or that was weeks? his thought yeah, last process. Week. Um, or was it two? No, it was two weeks ago. I guess, but didn't they wrestle last week, too? No. He wasn't on the show last week. Oh, okay. So um, I, then, I, then I got the two mixed up. Yeah, but, I mean, we had to have the announcers tell us that. Why couldn't you just have a quick interview with Bobby Roode backstage? I guess. Um, I personally prefer... Either the announcers giving backstory or the, like, as they're entering, have the little promo. Mm. Because right. the okay, backstage segments are very um, robotic. Yeah. For but the I most mean, part. For the live audience, though, they probably had no idea why this match was happening. Oh, that's fair. Not that, that it matters because a lot of matches just randomly happen. Yeah, that's true. I guess that part makes sense. Um, but as we know, they don't really care about the right. live but audience again, anyway. This, well, yeah. This could have all been avoided had they just done qualifying matches to the money in the bank. It's true. Uh, but either way, Ricochet wins. Um, I don't really understand what the whole idea behind this was. No, you're introducing a new character in Robert Rudin. You're going to have him lose his second match. And here we go. More 50-50 booking. Yeah. Um, because Ricochet should have won, but won the... The opportunity to be in Money in the Bank, right. not the other way around. Yeah. He should have won it from Rude, not, not right, right. vice versa. Yeah, you could have put him in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, whatever. Um, let's see. Well, then we had that Lacey Evans match. Yeah, she obviously won. beats the jobber. And Becky comes out and attacks her afterwards. Mm -hmm. As the other three women that were invited to ringside were kind of just standing there. Well, yeah. Well, just because they're on TV doesn't mean they True. do things. Well, they they watched the match, and then Lacey ran each of them down, including Becky, and then Becky came out, and they fought. Mm -hmm. And that was that. That was the only time Becky appeared on either show. Yeah, that was weird. Mm -hmm. Very strange for someone that holds two titles. Yep. Two Actually, belts. there was not that many titles showcased on either show. Mm -mm. I think well, it Finn was... Finn was in Ireland. Oh, sure. Um, but yeah, the tag titles were for raw were like not i guess they were on it but um joe was oh joe was on the show that's right i don't think i wrote it down but he just uh i guess in question yeah interrogated uh dominic yeah which there's a lot of similarities there he looks a lot like him like joe yeah i guess yeah he's just not as fat well yeah <laughs> they even got a similar haircut and yeah. stuff like that but honestly, I would be surprised if that's the whole reason why he's around. <laughs> Just so they can do something like no, that. No, I'm pretty sure he recently signed a contract with them. I meant why he started being on TV. Oh. Not why he's there. I know that he's gonna plans on wrestling, but yeah. I mean why he's been on TV for this point in time. I gotcha. Um Yeah, well like you said, Hawkins and Ryder were on TV. Yeah. The tag champions. They lost to the Viking Raiders. Yeah. Uh, I still don't I understand. It was a decent match. Yeah, though. but why do they? Why do they try to make it so that the raw tag team titles don't mean anything? 
don't know. It's like they're actively trying to make it look bad. I mean, at least do what SmackDown's doing and put it on a team that you know isn't going to drop the titles. Why wouldn't they drop them? I don't see Daniel Bryan and Rowan losing to anybody that is the ta- uh, a well, tag I, team. Well, I guess their Smackdown. tag team division it's is terrible. very weak. So that does make sense. Yeah. It's like Raw's except for... Well, I mean, you have it on your weakest team, basically. Right now, yeah. Yeah. That's true. They have a lot of potential. That's the funny part. Yep. Um, not not Hawkins and Ryder, I meant. The, the Raw tag team mm. division. Um, uh, another absolutely ridiculous Firefly Funhouse. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel <laughs> like they're getting towards the end of them, though. So, somebody... They're, like, escalating. Yeah. Somebody had... <laughs> obviously a theory because uh what's his name the buzzard he's basically a vulture right yes that's yeah. what buzzards yeah, are. yeah um so they're scavengers yes. so somebody else had to have killed the rabbit is people's theory so they're thinking it was the witch why are we thinking into this so much <laughs> I don't know. it doesn't matter uh the whole point i and i think this is what it's gonna be What's going to happen is that he's going to wake up, and this is all going to be a dream, and he's going to be the same exact Bray Wyatt. That is completely possible. I know. Nothing will change. Mm -mm. He's just going to wake up, and they're going to be like, yeah, we didn't actually know where we were going with this. Where do you really go from this whole thing? Nowhere. Not not anything that makes any sense. Is he just going to bring children with him to the ring, and they're going to sit down and watch him from the ramp? Uh, Yeah, I don't know. (laughs) I really don't. There's no like. Let me in. <laughs> it's it's frightening, it really is, and not like not like in a good way. I know that that sounds like weird, but like unsettling f- for a reason is one thing. But this is just, I don't know. I just I don't know. I don't like it. it because there's no purpose to it besides being weird. Well, weird for weird sake is not good. I mean, I guess. I mean, it it has people talking at least. I guess it uh, did anyway. I don't know if if it's just kind of gone by the wayside since it's, it's happened been three, three weeks, weeks now. Oh yeah. yeah, whatever. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Reigns versus McIntyre. Um, so the match goes on. I did not pay attention to yeah. this match. Yeah. So Shane and Elias come out, uh, and superstar number four, for uh, SmackDown. Come out and attack Reigns, uh, causing DQ. Um, and then, uh, so Shane and Elias are beaten up, or and uh, Drew are beaten up on Roman. Mm. And then The Miz comes out, superstar number five. No, Miz is on Raw. Oh, yeah, that's right. Miz is on Raw. I'm sorry. I apologize. I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. Miz comes out, attacks Shane with the chair, chases him into the uh, stands. Um, and then I think they make their way at back into the arena and then up the ramp yeah something like that they go into the back and charlie and was waiting for shane the whole night yeah at his locker room yeah yeah um charlie like stops shane and i think was it she stopped shane yeah and he's like do you think that the miz is gonna get to you something like that and and then uh shane gets to his car um and then the miz attacks him with chair blah 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 um and then drew does hit roman with the claymore yeah and drew had said earlier in the show that he had a claymore to give to drew uh to roman so i know that doesn't mean anything there you have it yeah there um, you have it. then we had uh the club versus a revival except for there's a twist the usos come out and they said that they uh came up with a new product what was it usi hot usi hot yeah and it only works uh upon sweat or whatever it's, uh, yeah and then uh this this was something I, you know i didn't hate it because they were doing something but i just goofy. hated it for the fact that there's so much more you could be doing with these two teams it's true if this was Ryder and hawkins it It'd would be, be fine thing yeah but i mean the revival did a hell of a job selling it. oh they did it was, it was hilarious they were like rolling around and like scott dawson was rubbing his ass all along the ring so and then on the turnbuckles yeah so at the very least, you know they're trying. I guess I don't know. Yeah, but like I said, it's just because who this applies to. Yeah, that's true. Other people, I guess it would have been fine. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah, this is this is all a hazing thing. It is. <laughs> it has to be. It's it's Vince going, okay, how stupid can I make you look this week? I mean, I guess. That's that's what the revival I've been dealing with for the last six months. Are they going to be initiated into anything? It's generally, isn't that what hazing is? Oh, meant oh to uh, do? yeah. <laughs> Probably not. Maybe the Hall of Pain. Have Mark Henry come out and there squash him. There you go. There you go. I um, mean, literally, what can they do next week? Something dumb. They've already had their back shaved, or they ever shaved their backs. Did this. I'm sure there's something else, like laxatives or something like that. That'll probably be next. Vince does love poop. Yep. Anyway, um, Lars Sullivan eats the conga line. Oh, my God. So that was a waste of time. Yeah, well, I mean, and that's number five, by the way. Yep. He's a SmackDown superstar. Yep. Uh, like like I said to you when we had No Way Jose come out, I was like, oh, we're actually going to get somebody else on the card. And nope. Nope. Waste of my time and yours. Then we see uh, Lars show up and... He stares Vince when he was in Vin- when Vince was in his office, and he says, "Oh, I'm gonna make it four people," which you know, I guess Elias didn't count. No. Why would Elias count? That doesn't make any sense. Nah, I don't. He's the drifter. He is. <laughs> um, and then we have the main event: Kofi Kingston versus Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship. Mm. First time in three years that the WWE Championship has been defended on Raw. Yep. Um, and Kofi won. Which is not a surprise. He did nice and clean. Yeah, because um, obviously he's not going to drop the title yeah. on Raw. You know, and then we had another WWE title match on SmackDown, which we'll get to. But I, I really do like the way they're booking Kofi. Kofi. Yeah. They're making him look like a believable champ, and mm-hmm. I think that was, you know, a big criticism going in. Is they didn't really know if they would be able to do anything with him afterwards. Kind of. Um, it's fair, and it definitely makes sense. Because I think that was probably everyone's biggest concern when it came to if they were going to have someone from the New Day win the title. Right. What they were going to do with the rest of them. Granted, they kind of lucked into, in quotes, um, Big E getting hurt. I, I guess, yeah. I, because I think that could have. when you can't have three of them around, it's a lot easier to neglect mm-hmm. one of them. That's true. So instead of having it so that xavier is doing his own thing he can do stuff with kofi that makes sense it's true so that that's just my thought process that is true um all right heading over to smackdown Mm -hmm. uh aj and sammy come out the coming over from raw um and uh i guess they're the well sammy came out first right no aj did aj did and then sammy came out and yeah bickering and then kofi came out yeah and uh kofi said that he'll take on either of them anytime and Sammy's like, well, AJ doesn't deserve a title shot. I do. So, and then... I mean, I the think, opening segment has been fine. Yeah, no, it was, it was, there was nothing wrong with it. And, you know, it was on Raw when Kofi was by himself. It was nice that he was able to be there by himself. And that's do true. Things. It wasn't, you know, the supporting cast. Not that there's anything wrong, and that's how they all got over, mm-hmm. but it's just like... Yeah, he, he, doesn't, he, doesn't need, he doesn't need the others. Yet. He doesn't need Woods or a Biggie. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they kind of left it as a cliffhanger, and then later on in the show, they announced there's going to be a triple threat, mm-hmm. which kind of weird. But I whatever. mean, we all kind of knew where it was going. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, obviously. Um, and then we have Ali versus Andrade. Mm-hmm. Um, Orton attacks Ali from the crowd, and he hits two RKO's. Yep. I don't um, quite understand why, but I mean, I don't really have a problem with the way it was booked because you know I feel like Ali has eaten a lot of pins since he's been on SmackDown. Since his one win over Daniel Bryan, I think he's probably lost the majority of his matches. Yeah, he did get beat up a lot by Joe and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. I I'm guess sure. that's fair. Yeah. Just having either of these men lose made no yeah, sense. Yeah, it's true. So, that so would Orton be dumb. coming out and RKOing perfectly fine. Nice spot with Andrade going for some sort of cross body, I'm guessing, and then he ended up eating a RKO off the top. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that was fine. No yeah. problem with it. And Randy does his due diligence and shows up to smackdown yeah yeah <laughs> it's true without breaking a sweat yeah um shane comes out to announce daniel bryan and rowan will be the new tag champs mm-hmm. um the usos don't like hearing that so um they have a match yeah this was a good match it was um I mean, we a all lot knew... of super kicks yes 
A lot of super kicks. A lot. Obviously, Daniel Bryan and Rowan were going to win because mm-hmm. Usos were obviously Raw superstars, numbers three and four. Um, and uh, so, yeah. Well, I think that's the argument people are saying is that they count as one because but they're a tag team. Who is number four? Uh, somebody else was out there. The Miz. He came out. Oh, yeah, that's right. Miz did come out. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about Which I guess See, if... It goes into me forgetting that he was a Raw superstar. I, mean, I guess if you're just going to go into being competitive, then it would be four. Mm-hmm. Because the Miz, you know, just like Elias on... Raw, yeah, he just, just attacked, attacked Shane. He didn't yeah. actually do it. Um, so, I mean, you know, then we can just simply blame the ratings on Shane being on both shows. Yeah, that's there, fair. Right? Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah. Um, but yeah, after after the tag match, Shane starts to make an announcement about Money in the Bank. Yeah, he had but, the briefcases out there and everything. Yeah. And but it turned out to be kind of a swerve, and it was just the Miz attacking mm-hmm. him. Um, they get chased up the ramp. The B team comes out, attacks the Miz. He fights them off. Chases Shane. Oh, this is when he went to the car, I think. Oh, no, 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 mind. No, mind. That was wrong. Know, yeah. No, Shane, Shane co- goes to the back. Miz fights off the B team then Shane comes out with the chair mm-hmm. hits him a couple times that's what right. it was um, but no that's, that's fine I'm glad they're at least doing little things like this rather than seeing Shane in in ring action yeah it, that would obviously not make any sense um, yeah just hopefully it ends at Money in the Bank uh, yeah well we hoped it ended at Wrestlemania no, I so. knew it wasn't going to you kept telling me it's gotta end it has to because it didn't make any sense <laughs> and guess what it's I was doesn't... right. It still doesn't make any sense, but it's still going that. on. I just said it was still going to continue. Yeah. Um, let's see. We had Ember Moon and Carmella versus Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. Yeah, so this was originally supposed to be a six-woman tag match. It, it, was, it was supposed, supposed to, have... to be Ember, Carmella, and Bailey versus Mandy, Sonya, and Charlotte. And Bailey wasn't there for some reason, right? Probably, no. No, she wasn't shown there. I mean, I'm pretty sure Charlotte was backstage. No, but... I, I know that Bailey wasn't there. That's why I'm, oh, okay. asking. I'm we'll figuring that. Uh... No, I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm just saying that Bailey wasn't on the show, so I figured mm. that was the reason why the six-woman tag didn't but happen. I am completely fine with... I, I thought the four women did a good job their match. They did everything fine. Mm-hmm. But I think the whole thing was to set up Asuka and Kairi Sane versus... Um, Mandy and Sonya. Mandy and Sonya next week. But why? Because if you had that six-woman tag, it wouldn't have made sense to kind of set that angle up. I know, but why are they setting up the angle? Oh, I don't know. Just to get more women tag team I guess, wrestling? But, because but they're not doing anything. Mandy's in Money in the Bank, when they... Look, man, I'm just trying. No, I'm just yeah. saying, why do they have on the go-home show to Money in the Bank one of the superstars having a tag match with two irrelevant people? And You bring up a fair point. And not having the the, the women's tag team uh, title holders on the show. They weren't on either show, were they? No. They've pretty much only been on SmackDown. They haven't been on uh, Raw in a while. Oh, no, they did show up on Raw this week during a commercial break to make fun of the crowd. Oh. Yeah, not okay. that it matters because we didn't see it, yeah. but... Okay. Either way, they weren't televised on either show. Right. All right. I, I was trying. I know. I and I was trying. disproving. Yeah, that's that's, that's just how this dynamic works. <laughs> sure, we can go with that. You're, you're optimistic, and I'm realistic. I wouldn't say that so much. Maybe in this instance, yes, but overall, I don't think so. Yeah, I guess. You I were do. optimistic that that feud was going to end at WrestleMania. Yeah, Here we are, it's because true. I told you it wasn't going to end. Anyway. <laughs> um, uh, Lars Sullivan beats up R-Truth and Matt Hardy back, backstage. Um, <laughs> Truth go- I said something to Hardy. He's like, I forgot what I was going to tell you. Because like, oh, I didn't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, so it was dumb. about Lars last week. He's like, oh, yeah, that's why I didn't want to remember. <laughs> And uh, then we had the main event, Triple Threat, Zayn versus AJ versus Kofi. Um, and, like, ha- I think they showed Kevin Owens watching the match from the back. Well, earlier on, Kevin said he was leaving. Oh, yeah. That, okay, that's what it was. Yeah, he said, no, he said he wasn't coming. I thought he said he came and he was going in his car and he was going to drive home. Yeah, like, he, like, showed up at the beginning. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, screw this, I'm not staying. And then he comes out, like, halfway through the match, attacking Xavier Woods. Distracting Kofi, allowing uh, Sami Zayn to hit, I think, through three blue thunder bombs. Yep. Uh, Kofi kicks out of all of them, mm-hmm. and then uh, I guess he goes for a Huluva kick. Yep. Um, 
Kofi has trouble in paradise and wins the match while AJ sleeps on the side of the ring. Uh, I watched the YouTube version of this because I fell asleep once again. Uh-huh. Um, and yeah, I had no idea. I was like, where's AJ in the majority of he this He was match? gone for a while. Yeah. A long while. I don't even know what knocked him out. Yeah, because I saw the three <laughs> the three blue thunder bombs and then, yeah. That's pretty much oh, how yeah, it went. Kevin Owens came out and attacked Xavier Woods. Yeah, that's right? pretty much how it went. Weird. So, so something must have happened to AJ early on, but maybe. I don't remember it. Taking a nap. He maybe ran away like McIntyre did a couple weeks ago. Maybe. Although, um, why would you run away from a triple threat match? Look, man, I don't know. Tag matches he did on Monday. Mm-hmm. He did just leave, so. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, money in the bank will be good, but. Hopefully. I mean, I'm not having that much of a an easy time believing that. Well, I mean, Kevin Owens and Kofi Kingston will be good. Hopefully. AJ versus Seth should be good. Should be good. I mean, I feel like they're probably going to go the Nakamura route with AJ, and this will be AJ's heel turn because it seems like they're planting the seeds more and more. I think it's been outright done already. You think? That's what it seems like. Mm, I guess. Yeah, I don't really see... this isn't going to be their last match. No, but I don't see anything about AJ's demeanor that says that he's a good guy anymore. No, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Because, like, Nakamura, like, the entire time was a good guy, good guy, good guy, until the dick punch at the end mm. of the match. That was it. So. All right. Fair enough. But, yeah. It could be slow transition, but I think they went a little too overboard at the beginning. Yeah. Because it's just going to go from... What what they what they might actually do is go 90% of the way... And then do the last ten percent at the pay per view, but act as if it's out of nowhere. Could just be him hitting a low blow and then finishing Rollins off and taking the title from. Him. It's possible, but like my point is, like they'll have the commentators freak out as if it was unbelievable that he would do such a thing. Well, it was like what Daniel Bryan did to AJ. Right, weren't the seeds all planted and everything happened, and then he low blowed him and then won the title? I don't think. Uh, I think that was a face versus face match. Was it? Was it a face? I don't, I don't remember. Um. I thought he was teetering at that maybe, point. Maybe he came back as the new Daniel Bryan. He might have come back as the new Daniel Bryan. Or he, when he, after he won the title, he came out. And I don't remember. I feel, like, I feel like he said that he was going to change the title before he won it. Maybe. Like I said, I think the seeds were planted. In yeah. A similar but I'm not sure that... But it t- doesn't matter because there's no original writing, so them recycling things wouldn't be a surprise. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that they... Um, I think the turn happened before he won the title. Yeah. I don't I think it was before that. So I don't know. I, I'm I'm ninety percent sure. No, I know that it's true. Because they had a I just when they all freaked out about it when he did it. Yeah, but it was probably not it was probably before he won the title though. I don't, I don't think he won the title by hitting a low blow. I'm pretty sure he did. Or maybe he did. And then I don't he faced know. Brock at Oh yeah, he did. Series. He did. He did. Yeah. Okay, fine. I don't. I don't know what I'm talking about. That was what six months ago. Something like that. Yeah, it's crazy. So it's whatever. Crazy. Who cares? It's all stupid. It is. And we're stupid for watching it. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Pretty much. Um. But yeah. I mean, I don't think there's much to talk about. No. It, to, next week is going to be you know probably similar to this week. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be very disappointed. Like most weeks. It's true. But here we are, mm-hmm. continuing to watch. It's just routine at this point. Yeah. Which, I mean, you know, I find some things decent. I don't have a problem with the overall show. It's just there's... There's just not a whole lot to be excited about. Well, I mean... There's not a whole lot of optimism. It's hard is. to feel optimism. There is. What? When the October rolls around, AEW is on uh, television. That's, That's different, the, yeah, though. Optimism. <laughs> Well, but, then I can watch that instead of this. I guess. You can see if they'll really turn it around or be able to. I told you, it's not happening. Well, I, I realize it's not going to be able to be one of those overnight things because regardless of how talented the roster is. But they just keep on throwing poo-poo at the wall, and it's not true. working, so. Whatever. That is true. Whatever. But we had, what, the lowest ratings last week, I think? Mm-hmm. And I think this week both were, shows were up but still very low. So. Really? Yeah, I'm surprised. SmackDown was up a hundred thousand, I think. That's really not that bad. No. When you think about it, it was still under two million. Still, yeah, better. But I think Fox wants them at three million. So. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Probably not. SmackDown has gone over three million once, 
and that was on the uh, draft. The original one, yes. 2016? Yes. Wow. I think it's all been hovering around that 2,900. That's crazy. Or 2.9 million, I should say. Crazy. Yeah. But, oh well. Yeah, we'll see. Mm-hmm. Not a problem. WWE still be on the TV. It's true. Regardless. Yeah, US, USA will money. pick them up yeah, if they absolutely. have to. Yeah, that, that will be no problem <laughs> at all. It's like, uh, come on home. Yep. We don't care how many people you draw. Yep. But We just want Ms. and Mrs. That's it. I mean, they're drawing over a million every week, pretty much, I think. The show's good. Which I have to get caught up in the last two weeks. I haven't seen any of the new ones, but I know the show's the good. The first three I watched, they were very good. Yes. So Hilarious. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, I think that was all we have for this week. Hopefully next week isn't as crappy. Yeah. And that was episode 42 of our podcast. Yes. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.